Hello, I am your very own Dr. Joe. I am here once again to help you. Today I have come up with some multiple choice questions from the topic of enzymes. Do watch this video carefully if you want to clear your entrance test exam with remarkable score. Let's jump onto the questions now. Make sure you pause the question. Read it by yourself and try to find out the right answer. Let me explain you the question first. So in question number one, we are asked about the effect of pH on a typical enzyme's reaction velocity. There are four graphs from which you have to pick the correct one out. So one thing that we know is, reaction velocity will be maximum at specific pH of that enzyme, and the range of specificity is very narrow. For example, if we talk about pepsin, it works best in acidic medium between 1 to 1.4 pH give and take. So our answer should be that any enzyme will have the highest reaction velocity at their specific pH which is in a very narrow range. So the narrowest graph plot is given in diagram B so our answer is, B. Let's have a look at question no 4 from red spot. In this question we are given a reaction in which product 1 converts into product 2. In the presence of an enzyme V. And product 2 converts into product 3 in the presence of an enzyme X. When we add excess product 3. It will give a signal that we have sufficient end product and no more is required. Which will reduce the rate of our reaction which converts product 2 to product 3. So excess of end product inhibits the reaction. The correct option is clear now. Option B. End product inhibition. Let's have a look at question number 6. Do not forget to pause the video and find out the answer yourself. We have given three plots here P, Q and R. Let's have a look at these. Plot P is a reaction which we normally see in an enzyme catalyzed reaction. So the reaction is not altered by any external agents, so we know now P is an uninhibited enzyme reaction. Let's have a look at the options now. There are only two options that have P and uninhibited enzyme category so we remove, C and D. They can't be the correct answers. Now let's have a look at line Q, in this plot we get to see that reaction hasn't stopped and, is proceeding forward, at a greater rate as substrate concentration increases. We know that the reaction inhibited by a non-competitive inhibitor stops eventually, and is not affected by increase in substrate concentration, so this plot Q can be inhibited by competitive inhibitor only. This takes us to our answer which will be option, A. Now let's move on to question number 7 of red spot only. In this question we are asked about the enzyme which acts on the least number of substrate. Due to its high specificity if we'll have a look at the options. Lipase acts on all the lipids. Not very specific. Nuclease is also not very specific. Protease acts on all proteins. While sucrase only acts on sucrose. Which makes it highly specific and. Our correct answer. About question 8 now. We are given many graph plots. We have to mark the correct answer on the basis of reaction taking place in the presence of a competitive inhibitor. As we know competitive inhibitor is reversible so our reaction will proceed as the concentration of the substrate will increase. And then eventually level off when all the active sites are saturated. So we'll look for a steep in the start and then leveling off which we can clearly see in plot, A, which is the steepest of all. In question 9. The question is the same as question 8 but there is a change of type of inhibitor. So now we are asked about non-competitive inhibitor. The condition will get reversed the reaction will proceed at a slower rate. And will then level off, which makes it clear that our answer is, B. Focusing on question 10. We are given a reaction with multiple enzymes and products. They have told us that when we add malonic acid there is no change in our reactant 1, which is oxy-alpha-ketoglutaric acid. But there is an accumulation of succinic acid which means that there is some hindrance in conversion of succinic acid, then. They've also told us that by the addition of malonic acid we don't get products like fumaric and malic acid. Which means that there is a hindrance in conversion of succinic acid into fumaric acid and then further reactions. So which enzyme links succinic acid and fumaric acid? Enzyme 2, which gives us an idea that in the absence of enzyme 2. All of these adverse effects occur. Our answer for this question is an enzyme 2 inhibitor, which is option, C. About question 17 from red spot. We are given a graph in which we are shown two reactions. One is uncatalyzed while the other one is catalyzed with lower activation energy. In question we are asked to mark the answer which shows the difference in activation energy. Occurring in the presence of an enzyme. 
If we have a closer look at the options marking Z and marking X, shows the activation energies of both the reactions as we are asked about the change, so our answer will be D, which shows difference.